Hello, I'm Hannah Wallace and welcome to Fenextra TV. Kindly joining me today is J.R. Maness, Global Head of Cyber Intelligence and Threat Analysis for HSBC. And we're going to be talking about cybersecurity, but also the Financial Service Information Sharing and Analysis Center. Hello, J.R., thank you very much for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me. So now for those that are a little unfamiliar with FS Isaac, it is the global financial industry's go-to source of cyber threat information sharing and analysis. So to start off, could you tell us a bit about your relationship with them? Yeah, so we've been long-standing members of FS Isaac, um, and they're extremely important to our cybersecurity program because it gives us the ability um, to get that reach back into a um, broad set of uh, other financial organizations in our industry, not just within one specific country, but across many uh, countries that we operate in. All right. And how is convening within such a trusted peer-to-peer -peer network helping support your broader cybersecurity programs? The, f the global financial sector has never been more connected than it is today. Um, we're increasingly more and more reliant upon each other, um, and FSI SAC has created this trusted community that allows us to share information without really fear um, of it leaking out and allows us to um, build each other's defenses um, as a community as opposed to kind of being on an island by ourselves um, trying to go it alone. All right, and what would you say are the best practices for future adoption um, that would help protect the sector as a whole, do you think? Well, I think it's important to know that there's no competitors in cybersecurity. Um, and when I say that, I mean we really all need to have each other's backs. Mm -hmm. um, and in order to do that, the best practice that I would employ is to have an aggressive sharing policy where you're selflessly sharing information across the community to make sure that um, everyone is protected. I don't think anyone wants to be the person that's sitting on information uh, when the next big cyber attack happens. Right, and well, following on from that quite nicely then, how important is sharing information and intelligence around cyber threats, particularly for HSBC? So sharing and consuming um, cyber intelligence is crucial to HSBC. I think it's more than just taking intelligence, though, um, and taking action on it. Um, often intelligence on its own doesn't have the full context of, of what uh, you need to know in order to take that action. Mm -hmm. Um, so being able to use a network um, of peers to talk about that intelligence can really turn it into knowledge and wisdom. Um, and being able to act on cyber wisdom um, with the community of the FSI SAC uh, is what has really enabled us to have great defenses and ensure that the sector as a whole is protected. And finally, JR, the burning question. When you're thinking about cybersecurity and the financial service sector, what's keeping you up at night? Well. I think it's important to know that cyber threats are never ending and um, they're constantly changing. So that in mind, uh, it's, we shouldn't be living in fear from cyber threats um, and we should remember that we all have families um, and we shouldn't be stuck in the glow of our computer screens all the time. <laughs> but that being said, um, I would say what would keep me up um, actually is the thrill of the hunt for cyber threats. It's that time when you find um, a new piece of malware or um, some infrastructure that connects to something larger uh, and you just get excited to dig in and really understand what that information means and get that intelligence out um, to help protect the whole sector. Well, that's certainly a positive note to end on. JR, thank you so much for sharing your insights. Yeah, thank you for having me. And thank you for watching.